Hey everyone, this is uh, my brother Shane's garage. And uh, is this one of your halls? This here? Yes. Well, this has been a hall over time. Dad's picked up some, I've picked up some. And you just keep saving it, you keep an eye on the copper price, and you just prepare it so when the price is where you want it to be, you can sell it. But... So the value in it really is, just, is, the, is the copper tubing that's been coated with all the plastic and... Yeah. Yeah, you want to get as much of the stuff off as you can. You got to get all these ends off to get the most money out of your copper. It has to be just copper. And then there's different grades of copper. This piece here will pay more than this piece here. This has paint on it. You're not going to get the same price for this. So you want to separate that when you go. Is that a lot of work to do that? Well... So you have to know your copper, basically. You got to know. There's like three or four. And every scrap place you go, I guess, is different ones. But where I go, there's like three or four categories. Uh, you got your brights. Then you have your number one, which is clean copper. Number two is the dirty copper. And then dirty copper, I think, is, is still better than mixed copper with fittings and stuff on it. Because that pays even less. If you leave brass on it, you're not going to get full copper price. Now, just out of curiosity, I see there's a couple things in here, like this coil. What was that used for? That was a, a coil for inside of a boiler for heating your house or heating your hot water. And what you have to do with these, the coil, is just cut off this end. From here, let me get it tipped so you can see it. From here down is all copper, even the fins. So you just got to cut them off here because this is a steel plate and you won't get nothing for this. And if you leave it attached, you're going to get a fraction of the value. Cut that off, you get good good pay for this. Not so good pay for this. All right, so there you have it, folks. There's the value in copper if you're looking to collect and make some money. And uh, stay tuned for another video. We're going to do something just real quick on uh, you know what these coils are used for and where they come from.